Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be creating this acrylic nail set inspired by Lisa Frank. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. back, back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get straight into the video. I'm going to be using one of the Relaxed Pose silicone practice hands and these are available on my website. We only have one of the sides in stock. I can't remember which one, but I'm going to link it down below so you guys can check it out if you want to. And all you do is apply the flexi tips into the finger nail beds. You can apply them this way or the other way. It really doesn't matter, but I've always just put them in kind of backwards and found that it gives... A nice finish to the free edge and I don't have to mess about filing off the little knobbly bit. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, next I'm going to come in with the XXL No C Curve Coffin Nail Tips and I'm going to be applying those with the instant nail glue. I'm just applying a small amount of glue to the well area and then we're going to go ahead and apply those to the practice hand just as you would with a full set. The only real difference is, of course, it's a fake hand, so it's not real. Therefore, I haven't prepared the natural nail plate. I'm simply just going straight in with my design. But if you were going to do these on your nails or your client's nails, of course, you would come in and prepare those with the Nail Envy tools, the prep and scrub and the primer. So now that I've finished applying my nail tips, it's time to go ahead and trim them down. I saw this hack on Instagram and also TikTok with the magnets for getting the same length. I'm going to link the ones that I purchased in the description box on my Amazon shop or storefront, whatever it's called. I really don't use it much, but I know I might get a few questions about these little magnets. So I'll link them from my Amazon, whatever it's called, shop. <laughs> um, they will be in the description box. After I've finished trimming down my nail tips, it's time to come in with a clear base. So I'm using the Nailmate Crystal Clear Acrylic and the Premium Adhesive Monomer. And I'm just coming in with a medium bead, which is basically going to cover all of the nail bed. And I'm just placing it on the nail, allowing it to level ever so slightly, and then I'm going to stroke that product down the nail. Now I do apologise, my lighting just in the beginning portion of this video was super blown out and very very bright and I didn't really notice until I checked and I'm so glad that I did before I continued filming. Um, so it's kind of just after I did the first nail where it is gets better. You'll see guys, you will see, <laughs> but I do apologise about that. I'm just showing you guys the colour acrylic that I'm going to be using for this set. They are absolutely gorgeous. So we have Ringmaster, Medjuli, Neon Yellow, Clown, Greenland, Ice Slush. I can't remember that purple one and then Candy Pink, but I'll pop them on screen anyway. And then I'm also using Illuminate, which is this gorgeous, deep, rich purple from my City Lights collection. It's absolutely stunning. It is a buildable coverage. And yeah, I absolutely love how deep and rich it is. I'm coming in with can candy pink on the free edge. So now this is where my lighting, as you can see, just got a whole lot better. It was super bright. I don't even, I don't even think it was a lighting actually. It was my camera settings. I had them on an old or setting or whatever. I just didn't check them and I just cracked on with filming. Not to self, always check that I've got the correct settings on. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'm coming in with all of those colours that I showed you and I'm just going ahead and doing a ombre nail and this is going to be the base, well all of this acrylic application is going to be the base to the nail art that we are going to add later on in the video. So I hope everyone is doing well and keeping great. The sun has been out and it's been absolutely beautiful here in the UK. We've been really enjoying going on lots of nice walks in the park um, and just having fun. 
basically. Sometimes you kind of, well, especially when it's raining a lot or gloomy, you just kind of sit in and don't really enjoy going out much. But yeah, I've been really enjoying the fact that the weather has been fabulous. Um, So that's been really, really nice to get out with the kids to the park and all of that good stuff. But I hope all of you guys are doing well. I'm just applying the last acrylic colour, which is the Ringmaster. I think this ombre looks super freaking cute. And then I'm going to apply the Laser Disco Glitter over the top of it a little bit later on. Um, And I did have a few more extra plans on this set, which I didn't end up doing. Just because, obviously, you guys know that I've just had a baby. And she is 10 weeks old now. Time is flying by. But time is limited, so when I get a chance to quickly do a set, you know, it's got to be done, it's got to be quick, it can't be kind of a super long process since I am needed elsewhere. So I was happy with where I got the design to. I did, like I said, have some other ideas in mind to add on to this set, but you could keep going forever, I suppose, um, creating and designing but yeah, I decided to stop where I ended and I love how it turned out. I actually think it looked really, really cute. So on the pinky finger, I'm adding a base of that Illuminate, which is the deep purple. And then I'll be adding Shook Glitter, which is this bit purple glitter. It's absolutely stunning. And then the iridescent glitter in the background there was Laser Disco. Again, an absolute stunning glitter. So I'm just using some Nail Make Clear Acrylic to pick up the glitter and apply it over the coloured acrylic. You cannot have a Lisa Frank set without sparkle, like there was just no way. So I definitely had to add that in there. So over the rainbow ombre nail, I'm coming in with laser disco. I'm just applying it over the entire nail. It doesn't have to be kind of like a complete block, just a nice wash of that glitter. And then I'm moving on to the next nail and we're going to apply a base of perfect pink. On this nail, I did intend to add another character nail, but like I said, I was just stuck for time and I wanted to get something out so we changed that up a little bit. I added just a rainbow and some animal print which is fine, it still looked bomb. Um, but yeah, if you are recreating this set or you are creating a Lisa Frank set, the more characters the better. Honestly, they are so freaking cute, I love how awesome they are. So now that I've finished applying all of my acrylic product and design, I'm coming in with the Nail Make Crystal Clear Acrylic and we're going to encapsulate all of these nails. The reason we encapsulate is to protect our design, protect the glitters, protect that acrylic colour that's underneath. This way we can also build the strength and the structure of the nail. So if you think about the coloured powders, all you want to be using those for is design. Use a small amount just to add that colour to the nail, to add the design or whatever you are doing. I always get lots of people saying, can the nail make colours be used as like a full nail without being capped? Yes, they can. But the reason why I don't recommend doing that is just because you're literally going to blast through your colour powders super, super quick. And there is no need to use that much product when you can just cap in clear. Um, obviously do what you want. If that's the way you love to work with your acrylic, that's absolutely fine. I think it is like satisfying to watch and you know, easy to create, but I always love encapsulating. And to be honest, I always do use a lot of glitter in my designs or do ombres. So those designs would need encapsulating anyway. Also guys, if you didn't already subscribe to my channel, I would love it if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below. 
I'm just going ahead and popping some of the gel polishes onto the palette. So these are the Nailmate gel polishes. They are freaking bomb, so pigmented, perfect for character nail art, designs, or anything like that. The formulation is absolutely stunning. You guys, if you haven't already tried our gels, you definitely need to check them out. They are freaking bomb. So I'm coming in and I'm using the white gel paint to start with. I'm just mapping out the design and you know creating the area that I'm then going to add the shading and colour to. I'm also using the flexi light just to flash cure in between. I did have my handheld little torch as well but I didn't have a battery for it. I need to grab one and replace that so I can use that too. The brush that I'm using as well for this nail art design is the Nailmate Detailer Brush. It's a super fine intricate brush and is perfect for character nail art designs and designs like this. Uh, but yeah, I've sped up this because I didn't want to kind of bore you guys. I can obviously break it down into a shorter video, but I don't think it's necessary. So hopefully you enjoy watching the process of me painting this little vibrant tiger. She turned out super, super cute. You just want to make sure that between each kind of <clears throat> gel application that when you are happy with something you go ahead and flash cure it because that way if you mess up something else you can kind of scrub away the bit that you're not happy with and then carry on you're not going to ruin all of it also by, by flash curing your design you're going to make sure that it's secured in place so that if you accidentally kind of smoosh or touch the nail you're not going to move anything out of place i've done that so many times where i've kind of not flash cured and then I've touched it and it's like no I was so happy with that and I'm so freaking annoyed so yeah I've definitely learned my lesson there to always flash flash cure when you are happy with something anyway moving on to this perfect pink nail base I'm coming in and adding some rainbows and some zebra stripes I was gonna say leopard print but I didn't it was the zebra stripes which I come in and add later on Moving on to the ombre acrylic nail, I'm adding some clouds and some lens flare stars. Super easy to do, I just outline them and then with a little flat brush from the five piece brush set, which by the way is amazing, it's got literally every brush you need for all different types of nail art and it's super affordable as well. Um, I'm coming in and just using that brush to pull down the white gel and it's going to create this kind of fluffy looking cloud situation. It looks so, so effective, but it's really easy to do. And then using the dotting tool and the liner brush again, and we're just creating some little stars. I love how these looks. They are my favorite little sparkles to do. And I think they just look like so hard to create but look how easy they are literally a dot and then you just pull out some of that product at all four ends and it looks bomb um but yeah adding some of that zebra print to this nail and then i'm gonna add some sparkles to this as well so on this nail i did intend to add another character <clears throat> i was gonna add like the little rainbow dalmatian dog um, and then on the purple nails, I wanted to add some stars, like hand painted stars, not like the lens flares that I've already done, a bit more starry looking, like an actual star. <laughs> but like I said, I'd already spent so much time on this set that I just kind of had to wrap it up. And as Lottie gets a little bit bigger, obviously she won't need me as much. Obviously she needs me, but like she'll be able to play with it, like little toys and things like that. But at the minute she just wants cuddles and snuggles. And I am here for it. So that is what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, this is the final set. I absolutely love how it turned out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember that you guys are bomb.com. Lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different. Because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye.